Good morning. Today's lesson is 11.2. Our essential question, how can you classify triangles? Unlocking the problem. If you look closely at the Epcot Center Spaceship Earth Building in Orlando, Florida, you may see a pattern of triangles. The triangle outlined in the pattern at the right has three congruent sides and three acute angles. What type of triangle is outlined? So three congruent sides, which means they're all the same, and three congruent angles, which means they're all the same. If you said equilateral triangle, then you were correct because an equilateral triangle has three congruent sides oops, and three congruent angles. Now, an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides and two congruent angles. Here's my angles that are congruent, but this angle is not. A right triangle has one that is 90 degrees, that's this one right here, okay? Or, so this is a right triangle. An acute triangle has three acute angles, okay? So these are the acute angles. Remember acute, it's so cute that it's smaller than the, the uh, 90 degrees. So 75 smaller than 90, 75 smaller than 90, and then 30 smaller than 90. A saline triangle has no congruent sides. They're all different. So you can see this one has three inches here, five inches there, four inches there. And then an obtuse angle has one obtuse um, angle. So this one's 130. That means an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. Okay. Um, the type of triangle outlined in this pattern can be classified by the length of its size as a, and that's the one, remember the triangle we're talking about is this one right here. Oops. This one right here, we're talking about that triangle. It can be classified as an equilateral triangle. Because remember, everything is equal. Um, and the triangle can also be classified as an acute triangle because all of the all of the angles here are smaller than 90 degrees. So it can, has two classifications. All right, activity. Let's classify the ABC triangle and its length of its sides by measuring its angles. So if I have a ruler, which I'm going to pretend that I've got a ruler right now, I'm going to measure the AB segment. And when I measure the AB segment, I'm going to get four centimeters. And now I'm going to measure the BC sediment, um, segment. And when I measure it, I get three centimeters. Again, you're just going to pretend that I have a ruler here. And then I'm going to measure the AC segment. And when I measure it, I get six centimeters. Now I'm going to take a protractor and I'm actually going to measure this angle, this angle, and this angle. And by doing that, I put this, this point right here in the center where it says zero. And then I line up the bottom line right here. And wherever it reads at this point is the degrees. So when I do that, I actually get 25 degrees for this angle. This angle, I get 120 degrees. And this angle, I get 35 degrees. One thing about a triangle, you'll notice that if you add up all three of the sides, they should always add up to 180. So you can double check your work. So if I have 120 plus 35 plus 25, 5 plus 5 is 10, 3 plus 2 is 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1. So I did my measurement correctly because all three angles added up to 180, which is exactly what a triangle is. It's a 180. 180 is half of 360, and if I were to add up all the angles on a square, I would have 360, because a triangle is essentially half of a square. Just saying, kind of a side note there. All right, so the triangle ABC is a, what kind of triangle? Well, it has one obtuse angle, so I'm going to say it is an obtuse triangle. My other classification, if I'm looking at the, the lengths, this one's four centimeters, three centimeters, and six centimeters. They're all different segments, therefore it is a saline, a scaling, sorry, 
scalene triangle. So it is a scalene obtuse triangle. Because what type of triangle has three different lengths? That's going to be scalene. And then what is the angle called that is greater than 90 but less than 180? That is obtuse. All right, let's do a little bit of the homework because you're going to need the protractor and you're going to need the um, ruler, so it's going to be a little hard to show you. But on this one, it's already measured for me, so it's a little bit easier for me to show you number two. So if I'm looking at it, I need to classify it in two different ways. Um, one of the angles is larger than 90, so I know it's an obtuse. You're going to use that chart that I helped create for you guys in the very beginning. Um, I have two angles that are the same and two um, sides that are the same. When I have two that are the same, it's going to be an isosceles. Okay, so again, see how this one has the right angle, so we know it's going to have, um, it's going to be a right angle. Um, the sides, however, are all three different lengths. Whenever I have the sides that are all three different lengths, I know it's a scaling triangle. So you just need to use the chart, use your protractor, use your ruler. Um, I'll be up at the carpet if you need anything, and you can also work with a partner. Good luck.